Alrighty, hello everyone, it is I, Kirby Siege, and we are on to part three of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. So let's do this. <laughs> Your Lothwing really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has been through this morning. I'm going to fly back and tell Father what happened. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so that's what left off this douchebag right here. Decided to take our Skyloft and hide him away so we would not attend the wing ceremony. But lucky for us, we figured out where he was, got it back, and now we're going to enter the wing ceremony like a triple OG. Well, well, if it isn't Kirby. Word around the plazas, you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great. Because you and that dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre race room ups me and the guys did weren't for nothing. Now I'm a little stiff. I've been waiting forever for the race to start, and they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flake is get stuck. Yeah, the big flake gets special treatment. You're almost a man, and you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? And don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Ooh, Zelda and our best friends. We'll go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're so suave, don't you? Well, do you? Don't you? Ooh! Gris has been on forever about on how he and being with how he's gonna how he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pomper doing a ruffle about her. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today is the day I bust this adorable little fantasy land of yours. Oh, you're living in. Okay, that too. <laughs> Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm going to be the one to claim the sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I going to let some scrawny clown snatch that prize away from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth. Zelda's sailcloth will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she's thinking about me when she's stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First, I win the big race, and Zelda and I finish the ceremony together in the statue. Just the two of us. It'll be our special, special little moment. Alone. Nobody's stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real. I can... I can see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Goose! Goose! Behind you! Just behind you, bruh! 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 <laughs> what? Can't you see I'm in the middle of Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Can't explain what you meant by our special moment alone. Uh, uh, nothing big, really. Just, just Kirby. Yeah, I was just telling my buddy how glad he was, how glad I was he found this red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, Lady Zelda, look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling up all the dangerous moves. Yeah, alright. Hey, Gris, wait up! Alright, cool. Alright, they gone. Did you hear that guy? A fair race? <laughs> yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Kirby. Just get out there and fly the best you can. Goodness. <laughs> You know you're the you know you know you've got these guys beat and deep down I think you can do it too. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Aw, oh, don't be nervous. You can do this. The wing ceremony is fun. The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Just like the Avengers. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Kirby. Thank you, lady. Oh, okay. So it's supposed to be like, uh... I don't know. Uh, what's it called? Like, you know, the USA and they fly the thing over the planes, over the stadium and all that? Oh. Well, only way I can explain that, I don't see the birds really making that sort of smoke. I'm just gonna guess that they have, like, some type of powder or something that's following them. That's what I'm gonna guess. Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Kirby. But luckily, that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you all could make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules of today's competition. 
I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will release then to the skies. On my signal, press A to dash to dive off the edge. Once you're in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember, call your bird promptly with the down button on the D-pad once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statue with the A, that will be this year's champion. Those rules are simple. Simple enough. Do you need to hit them again? No, um, I think we're good. Excellent. As well you know, or as you know what, as, as you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing them one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift, that of the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special gift for many reasons, and it is the 25th anniversary of our finest institution, Legend of Zelda. Woo -woo. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall receive his gift, high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all know well, uh, as you all well, all well, no, goodness gracious. The role of the goddess year will be performed by the lovely Zelda. She is pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Yep. Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see a good clean flying. Also, anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. That goes double for you, Groose. Oh, dang. Shader? Alright, gentlemen. Line up. At my command, the competition will begin. Yes, sir. Go! No, 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 no. Yeah! Let's go. Alright, let's go get this bird. Let's do it! Get that bird! Get him! Wait, how to watch up? Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dive bomb at the bird. That's what I'm gonna do. Dive bomb! Go, 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 go! G.I. Joe. Don't you fly away from me. Let me speed up a little bit. Let me charge. Aha! You just gotta rapidly push A when you get close to it. That way, because it gives you a signal saying, hey, push the A button and go to it. So I push the A button rapidly right before I get to it. So that's automatic. Hey, don't you, no, don't you know this is my glory day? Or don't, no, something. Smack. And of course, you know, they don't see that. Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with eggs on your face. So yeah, you gotta go back and get it again. It wasn't that easy. Ow. Dog on it. Ow. Let's try this again. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. Get us some eggs. Dog on Yoshi's. Get out of here. Yeah, there we go. Got it again. Almost you got the bird statue that's magically floating in front of Link. Somehow you proved your victory day. Wait till Zelda sees this. And oh, and it doesn't end until you get the thing. So I got it. Yes. Yes. Kirby. 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? You want me to catch you? What is your problem? This chick is crazy. Don't worry, I'm fine. I would hope. No! Great flying, Kirby. Congratulations! Oh. Now we better get on with the ceremony. Yeah, her waffle is like, yeah, I was there too, doggone it. Almost killed yourself. Lady's crazy. She is so happy I won. So happy she jumped off and nearly died for me. Kirby. Hand me that bird statuette you grabbed out in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Um, alright. Quiet. Uh-oh, she about to sing. I'm gonna shut up now. Oh, Ballad of the Goddess. Such a beautiful song. No, play more! What are you doing? That was beautiful. Ah, <sighs> fine. 
Great goddess, guiding the lights and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your ste stead during this ceremony. Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk in accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessing of the goddess upon you. Ooh, taking it off? What? Nudity in Zelda? What is this? No, the sailcloth. She was wearing it the whole time, guys. Calm down. The blessing of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft a sail, which I now pass to you. You got the sailcloth! Yeah! You can now jump from any height without the fear of a painful landing. This smells nice, too. <laughs> I like that. Just It smells nice, too. Kirby, quit goofing. Uh, this is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, you're the one holding... You're the one hold... You're... Ah! The one ho you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making the sailcloth in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Kirby. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? Oh, sure, no problem. Thanks for making it up here. Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today, like you promised, Kirby. Uh oh, it's y'all sentimental. She's adorable! Oh my gosh! Now, we should really finish up this ritual. You do know what happens in, at the end, right? Uh, nope. Really? Huh. I thought you would have figured it out by now. Uh oh, uh oh, what, what's going on? What, what, are we gonna, you have to jump off the statue, what? Oh my goodness, look down, see that big round design at the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop right into the center of it. Leap off the edge right here, and right before you hit the ground, push B to open up your sailcloth. Just how brave are you? If you are fearless, you'll wait until the last second to use your sailcloth. So, ready to jump? Push! Once again. Just like last time. Except for this time we won't die. Hopefully. I let's try to get in the middle. Oh, that's a very big circle. Um Sackloth. Yeah. Ugh. Did it. That was perfect! You're amazing, Kirby. Oh, thank you. Freaking push me off again. Huh? Oh, see, it's that little anime moment when they look in each other's eyes and it's all sentimental and. S s yeah. You know, Kirby, seeing as how you won today. And with the weather being so nice. Oh, snap. You think maybe you'd like to, you know. Go fly around the clouds together? This is a date? Is she asking me out? Oh snap! Legend of Zelda! Love Hina, love Zelda. I don't know. Date simulator. This is nice. Kirby! Hey Kirby! What's up? What's going on? Today was amazing! Watching you win the race and performing the ritual together, I have always remembered this. Oh, it's nice. It really was wonderful. Hmm. <laughs> it was. Gosh, she's so adorable. You know, Kirby. Oh, you know, Kirby. You love me? There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Just, you know, just ruin everything. What is that? Looks like a tornado above the clouds? But where is it forming at the top? That makes no sense. Let's back up. What's going on? Let's go. Let's move. Oh, her bird's too close. I don't see how. I was in front, but... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's go! Oh, crap. It pushed us back. Holy cow. What the heck just happened?
I'm unconscious. Kirby. What? what? Who are you? I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to the mission of great importance. Kirby. Huh? What the? Wait, whoa, 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 I'm falling! Let's get her, let's get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her! What is that? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! <sighs> ah, you're awake. When you're lost, when you carried your back. Oh, when you're lost, when you carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. But Zelda... <sighs> Couldn't you save her? But Kirby, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? <sighs> Alright, well you see, there was this big tornado at the ceremony, we were flying, it was fine, we were just, you know, flying around, just having a good old time, and then the tornado just, boosh, flew her away, and, and she fell off her side of loft wing, and then, oh, a black tornado, you say. Well, it was more brown, but, hmm, that was no ordinary storm. Wait, so you know? You know what's going on? You must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? Uh, uh, well, yeah, she was down over getting my love wing. She was saying something about something seeing her. Somebody's calling her name. I see. She was talking about the surface then. And as you've been dream, and as you've been having dreams about a great mission, how interesting. I'm sorry. I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's any there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but for so long as she's with her love wing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreaks has yet to arrive yet has has yet to arrive. It will be difficult to spot one one girl and her bird in the dark of the night. It will be very dangerous. It will also be very dangerous. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to fill these roles, but it's kind of hard to have that talking voice for each character. Rest now, Kirby. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. Well, if he says so. Alright. But, what was that? Alright. Something's talking to me. I need to go see it. Well, still got the sword, so. Who? Yeah, that woman from my dreams. Who are you? Do I follow you? Yes. Get over here. Hey, get back here. Where are you going? Answer me. To the door? This lady is, or fairy, or whatever you are. Hey, get back here! I got questions. Just please slow down when you turn that corner because you will jump off the ledge and it sucks. Wait, what? Where are you going? Down here? Where are you taking me? It's a cat. Oh, okay. Oh, it's stretching. Alright, cool. And... Oh, okay! Alright, let's do it. Let's kill it. Go away. Ow, 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 Go, 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 Alright, I think, yeah, that clone over here. You deserve to stay down there with that thing. 
Don't give me that bubble crap. I'm gonna freak all evil on me and whatnot. I don't wanna hear it. I think I can put a sword away now. Ooh, running now. Running up. Monsters, leave me alone. <laughs> no, go away, everybody. Go away. Go away. Oh, okay, looks like I go this way. Whoa! Alright, I almost died. Gotta be careful. I can die here. Yeah, go away! Uh, I think I climb up this. The camera angle is a little bit weird on this one. I'm gonna climb up, or leap up. This is actually what I'm doing, in case people don't know what I'm doing. What? Where are we? Where are you taking me, woman? Answer me! Okay, you stopped in front of the statue. I mean, I can't go through the wall, woman. Oh. Oh, it's a secret passage. Oh, okay then. Interesting. Alright, well, we are behind the statue of the goddess? No, this, the goddess had wings. This doesn't have wings. I don't know. I don't know where we are. Inside? Okay, so we're inside the statue of the goddess. Okay, so it is a goddess. Oh. Oh, wow. It's a pretty nice looking sword. What? But where are we, is the question. Who are you? The chosen one. By my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fi is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the de great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Kirby. You must take up this sword as the chosen one as the chosen one chosen by my creator. It is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling you sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. What? No, I mean, but... To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. What? The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. Heck yeah, baby! Still alive! <sighs> Some good news. Alright. And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be a part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up the sword before you set out to search her. Alright, sounds pretty legit. Does this information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? Well, heck yeah! What are you, what? What are you doing? It seems that further persuasion measures are not to be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Alright, so just need to examine this. Ready stance. Wait. Oh, hold it or move. There we go. A little awkward. Oh, well, it's skyward. By the power of Grayskull! You got a really crappy looking sword! Oh, sorry. You got the goddess sword! This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light! Oh, cool. Goddess sword. So, are you a goddess? Because you came out of the sword, so you must be a goddess. Recognition complete. Master. Master? What? Master Kirby? Oh, I like that name. Master Kirby. Mmm. Kirby, my master. Mmm. Kirby! 
Uh, what's going on, old man? I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet, here we are in the Chambers of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the young youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room exists and is secret passed down to a few, select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its slumber. The great apocalypse? What the heck? Is that what I think the eight Zelda was? Do not fear, for it is that for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago, that sort that I've been keeping secret all these years. It began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. Can you see Fee behind me just floating? I don't know. At first, I was unsure I was seeing things. Here, alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed of the prophecy of the legend would come past in my lifetime. Oh, so you can see her. Okay. I, at least I hope so. And she's just floating there. The words that I've sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by the one born of the blade. The one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah, yes, the oral tradition, the one least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. Yeah, that's, yeah. It appears the critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. Yes, it has. Word of mouth is the dumbest way of transportation, because it's always mixed up or something's left out. Always. The youth draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and he who possesses it an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadows of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blay at his side, he shall soar above the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that'll resurrect the land. Cool. So I got a good Zelda. Some of Father's old text talks about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a world far below, far more vast than Skyloft. So maybe it is true what she was saying. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to a vast realm called the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also that the method, a uh, method, only method available for you to reunite with the spirit man in honorable Zelda. Hmm. Only way I can get her back. This is no easy task, Kirby. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the, cal the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. So are those your arms? That's your sleeve. What is that? It's like a plaque or a table. Or tablet, sorry, not table. This, oh, it is a tablet, okay. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. Huh. Oh. You got the emerald tablet. The weathered surface of the stone is tablet full very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a scoured strike. These blasts are formed with pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. So I think what I was doing before when I said lift the skyward and it just kind of glowed with power. Once you have charged your blade, face the crescent and swing your sword and send it a powerful skyward strike. Oh, not a problem. Not a problem at all. So is it this crescent right here? Let me get like right up on it. All right. What? Huzzah! Okay, so that's simple. Simple, simple, simple. Hmm. Interesting. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Oh, let's go up here. Let's examine. I guess the tablet comes out of my pocket and goes in there. Okay. And oh, okay. So the goddess shoots a beacon. Okay. 
I was like, because I remember this game. I mean, I know everything that happens. I know what to do, blah, blah, blah. It's just there are some things I'm looking back on. I'm like, how did this happen? How did that happen? This, I kind of don't see how this makes a beacon, but it's all right. It's what it is. Master Kirby, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you place on the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you through your travels. Simply press down on the D-pad to summon me wherever you need my assistance. Whenever, not whatever. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Kirby, listen a moment. The nature- Okay, old man, you need to hurry up because I need to cut this episode. Kirby, listen a moment. The nature of the Great Apocalypse mentioned in my old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have to play big roles in the destiny of this land. Just think. If this is what Feed says is true, so how do you know her name? We never said her name. So which means you were eavesdropping, or you just know about this stuff. Sorry. Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to the terms with whatever the goddess has in store for her. So did you heed the call of destiny? I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Kirby, especially down there. But you have decided to brave the unknown. Please find my daughter and bring her back to me. Oh, hell, heck yeah, man, no problem. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is only the start of the journey. Please see it through, please see it through and prove the lessons true. Heck yeah. Uh, it's so, I mean, it is so much, but you know what? I'll do it. Okay. You get my word, old man. I will bring her back. You do your people proud, Kirby. Thank you. Thank you. Now, can I go? Got an episode to cut. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Kirby. And those clothes, they don't look up to the cat. Oh, don't look up to the task. The uniform you will receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy, uni a sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before you go. Yes. That dominant face. So dominant. Alrighty guys, we will stop right here, but in part four we will go and trek to the little light that the statue goddess gave us and whatnot. So, if you like what you saw, you can hit that like button, that's all I'm asking for. If you want to see more of this and you want to keep up with it, hit that subscribe button. I'm not asking you to hit it, but you know what, it's very helpful because it keeps up with everything I do. Um, other than that, I guess that's it. Until next time, guys, in part four or my next video, I will see you there. Goodbye.